a Cambodian court has convicted 19 political opposition leaders of trying to overthrow the government, following a case that one human rights group has described as a bogus. The Phnom Penh Municipal Court on Thursday found the members of the now dissolved Cambodian National Rescue Party CNRP, and seven defendants, including former CNRP leader Sam Rainsy, currently living abroad were tried in absentia. All face five to ten years in prison. The convictions received swift condemnation from Human Rights Watch, one of the many advocacy groups that have long criticized Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen's treatment of political opponents. Prime Minister Hun Sen and the ruling party are using these bogus trials to shut the door on any possible return of. The prosecution accused the defendants of conspiring to topple the current government run by Prime Minister Hun Sen on a list of occasions, including using the pandemic to undermine the current regime's credibility by disseminating untrue and inflammatory information. This is a sick trick. They, use rights of freedom of expression but this freedom of expression was hidden behind a trick. Deputy Prosecutor Seng Heng said during the trial, according to VOD English. The group was also accused of having a secret network and blamed for the partial suspension of the European Union's everything but arms trade agreement with Cambodia, which was revoked in 2020 over human and labor rights concerns. The justice system has again been used as a blunt political tool. Opposing dictators is a duty, not a crime, Sam Rainsy, the exiled CNRP leader who's lived in France since 2005, tweeted in reaction to Thursday's convictions. His unsuccessful attempt to return to Cambodia in 2019 was also cited by the prosecutor as an example of the opposition trying to rally the people to overthrow the government. Rainsy blames Prime Minister Hun Sen of blocking him from the country and has since vowed to attempt another homecoming. This latest trial is just the first of several expected mass trials, following the Cambodian government's 2020 prosecution of hundreds of political dissidents and activists. Hun Sen, a former Khmer Rouge commander, has been in office for more than three decades.